Happy Friday, folks. It is just a few days before New Year's, and I am out running a few errands. I've got to run to the post office, get a few things done here, um, and I wanted to jump on, just say hello. Excuse me for that little adjustment. Um, a few of you, um, well, first of all, thank you for your comments. Um, I did not anticipate that the videos were going to be such a um, popular thing, uh, so I appreciate all the views on YouTube, and I appreciate uh, all the comments and the great feedback that keeps me doing what I do. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I want to say, um, if you guys get a free second, you can find more information about um, my blog page. Um, it's going to be here or here, somewhere up in that top corner. Um, but something that came to my mind the other day was and has to do with um, something that I say, and I said it before talking about having multiple sclerosis, is that having uh, being diagnosed with MS was one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my entire life. And sometimes people are a little taken aback at that. Um, but it is the truth, and it is the truth because um, the MS diagnosis made me really focus my life. It made me pay attention to what was really, really important. It caused me to do a lot of introspection and uh, self-reflection and just thinking about my life. And that's helpful for me whenever I have people talk to me or ask me about or I'm at a speaking engagement and I talk about uh, discovering your life passion and finding those things that are really important in your life. People always ask me, well, what, you know, what if I don't know what my passion is? What if I've never discovered what my life purpose is or my life passion? And I believe on, on this topic, I, I think that um, your passion is inside of you already. That most of us know what our passion is. It reminds me of a friend of mine that, I, that is a very good artist. And one day I asked him, just out of curiosity, I said, you know, when did you start drawing? And he looked back at me and his question to me was, um, when did you quit? And his explanation was, you know, I never stopped drawing since I was a little kid. And I got to think about it, I was like, you know, I used to draw a lot when I was a kid and use crayons and color and draw pictures of airplanes and all kinds of stuff. And at some point, I stopped. Um, and that reminds me, or parallels, in my opinion, that the majority of people that I talk to about passion who don't have it or don't know what it is, that we need to use the word excavate when dealing with passion because a lot of times what we find is that when people start participating in, again in things that awaken their spirit, writing poetry, writing a journal, writing a blog, um, drawing, painting, uh, some form of expressing themselves. It could be expressing themselves in the form of helping others and through volunteering. It could be any number of things. But usually when we get someone to really spend some time thinking about themselves, they find that their passion was always inside of them. It had just been buried by being an adult and got buried by going and working a job and raising kids and paying insurance and all those things that happen when you have to adult. Um, you know, adulting really can kill your spirit when you grow up and you forget about all those life passions. Um, so whenever I speak to someone about trying to find life life pa passion, I always say to them, you know, it's inside of you already. You just need to excavate it. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. Um, let me know what you think about the videos. If you haven't had a second, leave me your comments and your thoughts. Um, up here in the corners in the pop-ups, bing, bing, and bing, you're going to find a link to my latest post, a link to subscribe to the uh, YouTube page and a link to get more information about my website. Check those out. I appreciate you guys, and I hope that you have a great Friday.